The family of the victim in yesterday's bold daytime shooting in New Rochelle talking exclusively to News 12 as that community tries to recover. Our Emily Young brings us the latest. Jesse Van Lu is a staunch anti-gun activist in Mount Vernon, but today he speaks to News 12 as a cousin of the victim. We're trying to stay strong and, and, and stay sane, you know? Like why, you know, what do we do? Go to sleep at night waking, hoping that your kids, when they go out, that they're okay knowing that you got idiots riding around here with guns that would try to shoot you in the daytime. That's the problem. The victim, a 22-year-old male originally from Mount Vernon, but now living just across the street from Monroe College, was shot four times, a shooting that stunned the college across the street. We heard something, came outside, and we see that there was some person laying on the sidewalk across the street from the college. I immediately called 911. Within, I would say, 30 seconds, police cars were here. Two quick thinking security guards from Monroe College ran across the street. They took off their coats and they turned it into a makeshift tourniquet, applying it to the victim, saving his life. Our, our two security staff did whatever they could do, covered with blood, frankly, to help this man who was obviously frightened and pain breathing on the floor. The school security cameras captured the whole thing, and that footage has since been handed over to police. Well, we saw a vehicle uh, that, that kind of pulled up and was interacting with this young man, uh, and then you, you, you see what looked like some kind of interaction. Uh, he fell to the ground, and the car and the car sped away. Van Lu says the shooting has left the family shaken. Emotions running wild. You don't know the injuries are sustained until you get to the hospital. My cousin called me and told me and I had to check the message again and like, Are you serious? New Rochelle police say the victim was the intended target, but the family has no idea why he was being targeted and right outside his home. The victim is in stable condition and New Rochelle police say they have a team of detectives out following up on leads. In New Rochelle, Emily Young, News 12. A miracle recovery for a New Rochelle boy who fell from this apartment building window earlier this year. Our Veronica Jean Seltzer is in the Alert Center tonight with an update on his condition. VJ.